Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me on this beautiful Saturday morning. I have got what I think is maybe one of the best looking Seiko watches to come out in quite a while. Today we have the Seiko Prospects Street Series 200 meter automatic tuna and this is the Japanese version which is model number SBDY073. Again, I think it's easily one of the best looking watches that's come out in quite a while but the only problem is it's just a little too small for me. Let's check this thing out. All right, guys, we'll get into this, but first, check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like this or any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. I do get a very, very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely appreciate it. Also, make sure you check out my watches for sale playlist for the latest watches I'm selling, including this one. So make sure you check that out. I think I've got, uh, I just sold one or two. I think there's like 10 watches on the list. So make sure you check that out. Whenever you get a chance, just contact me. All of the, um, the info will be in the description field. So again, check out my watches for sale playlist. Now, this is just your normal Seiko packaging. This is your normal Seiko Japanese market packaging. Nothing spectacular, nothing interesting here. Uh, I do like kind of like the color of the, the, uh, the watch box though. It's kind of like a brownish gray. I'm not quite sure what color that is. Yeah, I guess it's more of like a gray. Uh, anyway, you know what you get in the box? You get your Seiko manual right here in Japanese and English right there you get your warranty card right there pretty cool let's get this stuff out of the way let's do the big reveal dun 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 there you go again I love the colorway of this watch uh this is going to be a totally biased review because I think this thing is absolutely gorgeous I literally love just about everything about this watch um, and I don't normally do that. I mean, they're, you know, Seiko's have some problems. We all know about bezel alignment. This does not have that. Uh, it's, they did a fantastic job with this watch. All right. So of course in here you get the, uh, the Prospect tag, the, uh, Prospect diver scuba tag right there. Uh, the little plastic the watch came in. There's the uh, hang tag. I even saved the blue sticker for you right there. Again, guys, I'm probably going to sell this. In fact, I know I'm going to sell this. I love it. It's just too small for me. So if you want to pick it up for a really good price, these are going really fast because people, I think, you know, feel like I do. Uh, it's just a great looking watch. Anyway, contact me. Um, Continental, you know, United States shipping only. I'm sorry. Just shipping overseas is just such a hassle. I apologize for my overseas viewers. I really do. It's just a pain in the butt. Anyway, so you know what you get. It comes with all the stuff that it normally comes with. Let's get the box out of the way. Let's take it off the watch pillow here. Man, that is one good looking watch. Now this blue is really subdued. Now it's only showing up like this. It's got that sunburst on the dial. It's only showing up like this because it's in direct light. My studio light overhead is really highlighting the uh, sunburst factor and that blue. But you know, if you were to look at it from afar or even pretty close up without direct light, it's almost black that dial is, but that, uh, Wow, it's really popping in direct light. So, and it's that, I like that gold too. Man, this is a good looking watch. I hate the fact that it's just too small for me, man. Anyway, let me get all this other stuff out of the way. Let's talk about this thing. Now, this is the Japanese version of this watch. Um, before I go into all that, let me go ahead and tell you all the specs that you need to know, and I'll put the rest of the stuff down there in the description field for you. You're looking at a 43.2 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 12.6 millimeters thick. Uh, it's 44 millimeters lug to lug. It comes on a 20 millimeter silicone strap. Easily one of the most comfortable straps on the market today, I think. Guys, this thing is just, uh, it's incredibly soft and supple. I know y'all hate it when I say that, but it is very soft and supple. Really, really comfortable strap. Uh, water resistance, 200 meters. Of course, it's a prospect, so it's 660 feet. You got the 4R35 movement, not a 4R36. A 4R35 just gives you the date. 4R36 gives you day and date. You're looking at about a 40-hour power reserve. Uh, it would have been cool if they had made this into like a king tuna where you had a, um, a ceramic bezel and a sapphire crystal. But unfortunately, you still just get a hard lex on this one and just a regular aluminum insert, but a very nice aluminum insert bezel. These numbers are engraved. Fantastic. Guys, again, 
you know, I love this watch. Spoiler alert, I love this watch. Just a tad too small for me in my big, my big wrist here. I never, you know, measured my wrist. I have no idea, but I'm guessing it's probably seven and a half or eight. I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. But again, just a little bit too small. Now, yeah, I could, you know, put it on a NATO or find a longer strap. But I'm not one of those guys that likes to mod watches. I just never have. I'll never, you know, crack this thing open. Obviously, I'm going to sell it, so I won't have it too much longer. But I don't crack watches open. I don't change out handsets. I don't change out dials. I don't change bezels. I don't change out straps for bracelets or bracelets for straps. I like the watch just like it came from the factory. You know, OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer. I like the watch as it comes originally from the factory. So I could swap this out for a nice NATO, uh, and it'll probably I could probably find a really good looking NATO strap. I've probably got a, over a hundred different types of NATO straps uh, that I could use, but you know, I just I'd rather you know have it on the original silicone strap that Seiko provides with the watch. So uh, anyway, yeah, you only get a hard lex crystal with this thing. So, you know, it is what it is. Hard lex has been proven over time to be fantastic. No big deal. Uh, and again, if you want to check out all the specs, make sure you check out the description field. I'll show you, you know, it's got a screw down crown. It does have a date feature. You know, it's got Lumabrite. 120 click bezel that lines up perfectly, by the way. Uh, and it's only 102 grams. And that's because of the lightness of this strap. So guys, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, again, fantastic looking watch. I know I've said that like five times already, but man, it is a real looker. I love that kind of faux patina. Um, some people don't like that faux patina, um, Luma bright color. I like it. It really does look good with this watch. Again, you've got the gold section for the dive portion of the bezel. You got those nice big rectangular handsets. Uh, applied rectangular indexes with a really sweet looking chrome bezel. You got the little tip on uh, three, six, and nine. You can see that right there. A little tip to the uh, the index. Of course, your date's over there at 430. A nice white second hand with a blackout rear end on it. Uh, of course, I told you about the um, starburst on the dial. Uh, you got Made in Japan down there at six o'clock. Uh, you got your shroud right here. Really, really good looking watch. Again, this is one of those reinterpretations, reimaginations, reincarnations, refresh. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with Seiko because they're bringing back a lot of styles from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And it's really hard to keep up with how many, like I said, reinterpretations of older watches that they're doing. Uh, but this one, they really knocked it out of the park. Now, this is the Made in Japan automatic model. Uh, the STBQ003 is the Made in Japan Ladies No Date Solar Quartz. This has basically been issued as a uh, his and hers. So you know if you if you you know if you go out there and buy one, you want to get your wife the same watch, or she likes the the female version of this, and you happen to like the male version. They do come in two different versions. They come in the Made in Japan version, which is this one, and then again that uh, Solar Quartz Ladies version, which is smaller, and then the international model is SRFP eight one K one. And then the ladies no date solar quartz of the international model is SUT 403 P1. I'll put all of that down there on the screen for you right now. So if you want to get the international model, some people prefer the Japanese model. They think it's made a little bit better. Honestly, they're both made fantastically. I mean, they're made in Japanese, you know, run and owned and managed, you know, Seiko manufacturing plants, no matter where they're, they're put together. They're still great watches, no matter if you get the international model or the Japanese model, which is this one. Now, I love this watch, but there is one thing that's a little bit irritating. This crown is really small, and it's a little bit hard to grip with bigger fingers. So just keep that in mind, but it does have excellent action. It's very smooth, but it is a tad hard to grip. The uh, bezel, not a problem. Really nice click action. Little to no back play, if any. Seiko, I think, is really up in their game on these bezels. They've heard all these complaints for years about them not being able to align a bezel, but look at that. Perfect. Wow. Good job, Seiko. Another thing I really like about it are the concentric circles. If you can see that on the bezel there, do you see those circles, engraved lines on the bezel? I don't know if y'all can see that very well. Uh, I love that. The actual numbers and markers are engraved. See right there? Man, that's a good looking watch. <laughs> I know I've said that like 10 times now, but wow. Really, really good looking watch. All right, let's go ahead and uh, show you the uh, case back here. Nice hardware, really nice keeper right here. Got an engraved Seiko keeper, nice little polished edges on the keeper. Nice little attention to detail right there. Super nice buckle, stainless steel, and it says it right here underneath. 
Seiko stainless steel right there. Of course, this is just your regular tang and buckle. Again, super soft strap. Nice little, it looks like a uh, webbing underneath it. Kind of hard to show you. See if I can get it there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Anyway, here's the case back. Your typical Seiko uh, case back for your divers. You got the Tsunami logo in the middle. You got laser etching around the periphery. Of course, it says made in Japan, right? Let me see, where does it say made in Japan? Right there, I believe. Yep, right there. So uh, nice lug width. I mean, it's, it's a comfortable watch for sure. There you go. Got your Seiko Tsunami logo on the end of the strap right there. The camera's having a real hard time picking up the strap for some reason. I'm not quite sure. But guys, I, I like this watch a lot. I'm just, you know, I just wish it wasn't too small for me. It just, it's just a tad too small. So uh, anyway, tell me what y'all think. I'm really curious what you think of all these Seiko, again, you know, reimaginations, reincarnations, reinterpretations, refreshes. Uh, there's so many of them from so many different models, but I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park with this thing. Uh, it's very functional. I mean, everything just works so well together. The color scheme, you know, the indexes, the handset, the second hand, the date window, very legible. You got white on black for the date. Uh, not too much writing on the dial. Again, you're going to have to put this in direct light to really see that blue pop. At a direct light, it's going to look, you know, almost black. Now, again, guys, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and probably sell this one, but I'll put a link in the description field for the international version. Uh, this Japanese version is not available on Amazon. So you can head on over to Amazon and pick up the international version for around 600 bucks, or you can buy mine if you like. We'll work out a deal. Uh, this has only been, you know, worn for this review and, of course, comes with everything you see in the box. Uh, but, I'll, again, I'll go ahead and put a, a link in there if you want to buy the international version on Amazon. So make sure you check that out. Um, let me go ahead and try this thing on real quick. Oh, that strap. Oh, my God. See, look, I've got three little uh, holes left, and that's it, man. So it's, just, it's a little bit tight, and if I do it to number two, eh, I don't have much strap left to play with to put in the keeper. So it's just, eh, it's just a little small. I mean, I don't know, it's just a little small. But man, good looking watch. Good looking watch. Let me go ahead and uh, take this thing off. I'll show you the loom. All right. Kill the studio light, kill the monitor. I mean, y'all know what to expect. There's gonna be no surprises here whatsoever. There we go. It would have been cool if they had loomed the bezel too, or maybe just the uh, the twenty minute portion right there. There we go. There you go. I mean, you know what to expect. Really, really nice. I love that handset. That hour hand is just a little bit thicker than the rectangle for the uh, the minute hand. Perfect handset for me. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and cut everything back on again. Tell me what y'all think of this watch. I love it. I really do. It's one of the best looking Seikos I think has come out in quite a while. And again, this is part of the street series uh, of Seiko watches. They have, you know, solars and other stuff. Uh, but I love this automatic version. I really do. Guys, as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I definitely appreciate when you do that. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all checking my channel out. And for your new viewers, thanks for heading on over here and checking me out. I appreciate y'all as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.